Hey guys, what's up, Heath, uh, Shepherd's Forge, uh, just wanted to give you guys an update on how I'm doing, um, I'm going in, uh, tomorrow's Tuesday, I'm going in Wednesday for all of my labs for this little experimental pre-surgery, uh, chemo. And I thought, uh, what better way to kick all this off than to start up my brew demon um, brew kit. I'm doing a, a Northwest Pale Ale, which I'm going to commingle with um, a little bit of sharp hops, some orange peel. And some blood orange extract. Actually, not extract. I'm actually extracting it straight from the orange itself. But uh, uh, that'll be ready in about three to four weeks. And I thought, that's about the timeline that I'm going to be coming back for my surgery. Uh, so hopefully I have something to celebrate. And... An amazing beer to uh, to sip with uh, my family, who has been absolutely amazing through all of this. I'm I'm one of those people that uh, honestly I don't I don't need human contact um, as long as I got my dog, my shop, a couple of close friends, really tight circle friends uh i'm i'm pretty much good like i don't i don't need much else uh if i could avoid people altogether i i probably would um but my dad uh and my sister have basically just like kicked down the door of my home and like yeah we're taking you to your appointments we're gonna be there we're doing this we're gonna stay with you we're going to drive you here. We're going to drive you there. And you know what? It's been kind of nice. Um, it has. Uh, my family's been really cool about everything. Uh, they know how I am. They know I'm uncomfortable with taking help. I've always been just uh, a lone wolf my whole life. I just have. That's just kind of who I am. Um, but uh, I kind of thought, you know, hey, they're doing all this for me, you know, uh, at the end of my surgery, um, when I come out at the end, I'm, I'm going to have to, like, basically what's going to happen is I'm doing um, a couple bouts of uh, pre-surgery, uh, call that chemo and then my surgery I got to heal from my surgery and then they're gonna do um, radiation I'm gonna be off I could be off of work for a month maybe longer this is gonna put me under for a little while and that's fine that's fine I can deal with that um, but I kind of thought like when I come out of surgery, like, if everything went well, like, I crack open my homebrew, you know? Um, and I don't know if any of you guys do, like, um, what do I use? I use, uh, Brew Demon. And basically what you, you know, with Brew Demon, they send you a conical, uh, fermenter. Uh, they send you um, a couple of kits to set up with um, to brew your own beer. And you could use just that. But if you do a little research into it, like I did, um, I didn't want just like your basic, simple, out of the can brews. I add stuff to it. I add fruit. I add juice. Um, I'll add. Uh, I'll go online, I'll find 
uh, some nice, nice hops. And make a nice good IPA. Um, I've got some cider on the way. I've got some uh, stouts. I'm gonna do a chocolate stout. Like I'm not, I'm not big on sweets, but I heard the chocolate stouts like the way that you can manipulate the stout to make it a chocolate stout sounds pretty good. So um, I'm gonna have some time off. So I figured I'm gonna start brewing beer again. Um, I always had such a great time doing it. Everybody seemed to enjoy it. I've done some. Uh, grapefruit IPAs, uh, I've done, um, uh, what is that, uh, like a strawberry cider, I've done a mead, my mead didn't turn out real good, but I tried it, um, so, you know, we gotta, we gotta keep busy, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta stay happy. We gotta keep in a happy place. Stay positive, um, and just uh, keep busy. That's that's the big thing. Don't stress yourself out. Keep busy. So, anyway, guys, uh, this is me. This is the thirteenth of the first. Um, tomorrow's Tuesday. Wednesday, I have to go to uh, the cancer center and do a whole bunch of labs. Like, a whole bunch of labs. Like, uh, my appointment's at, I think, 11 o'clock. So, I'll leave, my, uh, I'll leave work uh, at 9.30, drive over to my dad's place, and he's going to drive us there. And then, after that, I'll have my... Two um, experimental chemo things, possibly three, but they're thinking two is what they want. Um, I can go into this more if you guys want to hear about this experimental chemo thing. Uh, and it's not really to help me, it's to help others who come before me, or, or I'm sorry, who come after me. Um, so there's that. Um, but uh, I've kind of decided I'm I'm taking you guys along for the ride, so um, I'll keep you posted and let you know what happens. And uh, Shamrock Forge, buddy, let me know what's going on, man. Uh, sounds like you might be kind of in the same place I am, so uh, let's keep in touch, brother. Uh, let's figure out uh, let's figure out how we can help each other. And uh, just communicate. So it's kind of what we do here at the, uh, you know, in the, the YouTube channel family. Like I like to think we are. So as you can see, I am much more upbeat. Um, much more upbeat. I feel pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm in for a rough road. But I'm going to pull through. Um, this is going to be... This This is going to be alright. Guys. Um, things are going to be okay. So, anyway guys. I will see you on the next video. And, uh... uh take care. I'll see you then. Bye.